Hey YouTube, Jokin Shinobi here with a review of the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan 3 Goku, or Son Goku, but I'll just keep calling him Goku. At least this package actually spells Goku the typical way, not the, uh, Goku way. But anyway, um, that aside, we have Super Saiyan 3 uh, Son Goku up here, Japanese and English, um, Meteor Impact in Comic Sans. Of all things, uh, the the dot pattern going on here that is typical of the, the DBC figure arts. I just touched him and he fell over because of his hair. Um, figure looks really good on the back. Unfortunately, that doesn't carry over into the physical product. We'll get to that later. More comic sans. Um, Saiyans are a warrior race capable of increasing battle power by entering a transformed state. This is the third level Super Saiyans. Son Goku is transformed into Super Saiyan 3 for the first time during a battle against Majin Buu. Unlike the other Super Saiyan forms, the hair grows down to the waist and the eyebrows vanish completely after the transformation. The transformation can only be obtained, maintained rather, for short periods of time because it rapidly consumes the energy. Uh, superior articulation, yada yada. Um, fun times, and there's a little effect part thing that I'll get into later. So, um, yeah, here's Goku. You'll notice right off the bat... Goku's been tanning, everyone. Um, and I don't mean the good kind of tanning. I mean, like, I think he bathed in a pile of Cheetos tanning. Um, not that that's really tanning, but that's just bathing in Cheetos. But I don't recommend bathing in Cheetos. It's not good for your cholesterol or whatever. I don't know. But anyway. Um, yeah, so the sculpt on this guy is really, really good. The hair is on three separate individual chunks with uh, ball joints attached. So the hair is fully maneuverable, so you can get, like, all sorts of crazy kind of hair pose going on. So that was handled really well. I hate it when they just do the hair in one giant chunk, meaning he can't turn his head, like, left and right, like, at all. Like some of the uh, older Bandai and Irwin figures and stuff. Those were just kind of bland. But, um, this is all nice and poseable, so that's cool. Um, information back here. And like I said, the sculpt is really, really good. The head sculpt's pretty accurate to how Goku looked most of the time as a Super Saiyan 3. And uh, I can't really complain too much about the, the overall sculpt of the figure. He has like this weird monkey neck going on. I don't really know what's going on with that exactly. The neck doesn't seem to want to maneuver around all that well. But anyway, outside of looking like a monkey, he looks really nice. But I guess he should sort of look like a monkey given the fact that he's a Saiyan, but... Anyway, a lot of rambling in this review. Um, the coloring is where it gets me. Um, his his outfit, unlike the original release of Super Saiyan Goku, which I conveniently have right here in my pile of figures, was a manga true nice washed out orange color, which was uh, was really nice looking. This, uh, as you can tell, is the same body, um, absolutely, but just it's colored in this really paley sort of icky looking orange i don't know how to explain it exactly this is crisp bright true to the manga whereas this is has these weird orange gradients in it that make it look really strange and it, it looks like a very mustard orange if that's an actual color uh, it just looks really off compared to what's presented in the manga and the anime. Um, to top it off, his skin. Look at this arm. I'm not even... That's pretty true to the color I have it, like, looking at the figure. That's not camera tricks. That is... His arm is orange compared to, you know, the normal skin tone color of a human being. Um... I don't really know what was going on with this figure. They made him very, very orange. Um, both, I mean, even up here where the skin tone isn't particularly that tinted, uh, you can see how normal it is up on his forehead, and then it gets down to his face, and all of a sudden it's orange again. I don't understand exactly what they were going for with that. But, um, but yeah, it, his, like his forearm here is just really, really gross, both of them. Um, so that aside, the, like I said, the sculpt is fantastic, but the, the paint application is just horrible. And this isn't the American release, um, as signified down here by distributed by Bluefin. Um, 
as far as I know, they come from the same batch from the same factory. This is just distributed by Bluefin. So, I don't think the Japanese release, which should be reaching Japanese peoples any day now, um, probably has been by the time I get this review up, but um, I don't think the Japanese release is going to be any better, honestly, because I think these come from the same place. But anyway, on top of that, he has absolutely horrid time standing. But um, we'll try our luck, I guess, with the with the turntable. He's holding off fairly well. Nope, JK. Uh, the the halo is completely renewable. There's just a little peg inside of his hair right there. Um, I mean, you can tilt it around to where it's straight, but that just looks weird, so tilt it properly. Um, let's try our, try our best here. Um, Hand-wise, he comes with five hands. He comes with two grope hands. Go away, Goku. Two grope hands, um, two energy shot hands, and a instant transmission hand. It also comes with an alternate face. He has an angry face. I like how all these angry faces, sorry for the blurriness there, all these angry faces are always looking to the side. Apparently you can't be angry and looking straight. But um, all you have to do with that is take off his face and just plug in the new face. I like his calm face because he was always kind of a smug guy in Super Saiyan 3, so I'm just going to leave that face on there. Uh, make sure you don't stab yourself with his hair. It is rather pointy. I'm going to turn off the turntable because this is an absolutely pointless accessory in this review. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't really know what hands to give him. Uh, he's, he's mentally thinking, and hopefully that gets rid of some of the orange. So, as I said before, he has this cool effect part, which is actually pretty neat. Um, it's these four individual, like, crescent shapes, and they all plug in together and then attach to this Tomashi stage. It does come with this Tomashi stage. However, it's just a plain, ordinary, um, just clear base. Uh, there's nothing special about it, though. Mine has this little film down here at the bottom. Uh, nothing special about it outside of the fact that it can come with these little clips. So, um... It's actually kind of difficult to, to wedge him in there. And so here we are. Um, yeah, I pretty much said my piece throughout this review already. Great sculpt, horrible paint applications, horrible color choices. Um, very inconsistent with the blues and the purples of his clothes. The mustardy orange of his gi looks really bad in comparison to the previous released figures. Um... And the orangey skin paint applications, whatever they're doing there, just looks absolutely horrid. Um, so this is definitely a figure I cannot recommend at all. Um, if you like Goku, try to hunt down the original Super Saiyan release of Goku. Um, either the original Japanese release, which is right here, or the Comic-Con uh, American release, which was in more... Um, anime-ish colors there was some orangey tinges to the hair and his uh his clothes were a darker more red color like they were in most of the uh, an uh old anime figures and stuff like that so um i would recommend trying to get those um there is supposed to be a normal non-super saiyan goku released somewhere down the line uh we've seen prototype shots at various tamashi shows you could wait for that if you really want to, but just don't get this guy. He can't stand very well without a stage. Paint's horrible, color choices are horrible, and uh, you get the same great sculpt off the original Super Saiyan figure. So um, he, his sculpt isn't even original enough to, to warrant uh, some props there. So definitely the worst of the DBZ figure arts so far. I recommend picking up any of the previously released three and not this guy. Um... Trunks is up next. He was released in May. Really looking forward to that. Cell should be up after Trunks, apparently. Um, and for people looking out for uh, Super Saiyan Gohan, or Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, slash Super Saiyan Gohan, he's right here, uh, he might be getting an American re-release sometime soon. Uh, Tomashi's teasing it, and they're supposed to announce it tonight. So, um, tonight being in the night of the recording, not the actual day this goes up. But anyway, I've rambled way too long about how horrible this figure is, so, uh, yeah, don't, don't get it. Save yourself some money, don't get it. 
Um, you can check out shukashinobi.com for all these updates on my reviews and hauls. And of course, check out RidersRamsRambles.com for your latest token news and the craziest way possible. So take care, have a great one, and don't buy this Goku.